Hey guys, welcome to the Nerd Vine. This is Pradeep Chaudhary and we'll be continuing where we left. So in the previous video, we had seen like uh, we had introduced identity based models to fast API that we were building. We were uh, we introduced a couple of uh, routes, uh, namely get and post uh, with a, a, data, a list data structure to perform some crude operations. So in this video, first, uh, like uh, before introducing other features like put a uh, patch and delete and um, including a persistent data storage like post SQL for say, uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, in, uh, like add some modularity to the code that we have currently. So we just have a main.py, we have all the codes there, but that's not a correct way of doing it. So what we'll be doing is we'll be making things right and we'll be uh, structuring our code in a much better way. So what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, like keeping the uh, base model uh, definitions in a model uh, dot by uh, file will be having all the routes related to the student uh, operation in a student dot by and will be having the bare minimum uh, uh, runner codes in our main dot by. So uh, we'll be adding all the modularity uh, before moving on to the rest of the features. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so now this is the VS code and this is the place that we had left uh, in, in the previous video. We had uh, we had a couple of routes, get and post, and a base model, uh, fake data uh, using a list, and uh, like we have, uh, we had done up to this. So if you guys haven't watched my previous videos, do check it out. Uh, uh, I will be putting the links in the description. So before uh, watching this video, go ahead and uh, definitely uh, watch those first. So now, uh, uh, as I said, we'll be creating a model sort by and we'll be moving our base model definition uh, to the model sort by class F5. So we'll be naming it model sort by. And in this model sort by, we'll be copying uh, the class definition that we have uh, for our base model and we'll be importing the uh, base model from the pyramid library. So we will just correct that. Yes. Uh, so now we have our model chart by ready. So uh, as a next step, what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a student start by class and uh, we'll be having our uh, all the operation related to student short by, uh, student route will be having in those. So first we'll copy the route definitions. Then we we'll, okay. First I should have copied the uh, required libraries, but that's fine. So we'll import the login and we'll import the type in from here. So I'll add that in the student struct by then the fast API initializer is fine. And we'll move the fake student data to student struct by as well. Okay. So now we have copied it. Uh, whatever we needed to uh, student struct by, we'll also initialize the log for this particular script as well. So apart from that, we'd also, uh, like as we are segregating the routes, uh, de uh, depending on what kind of operation we are doing for that particular uh, uh, data structure, like for uh, this example, our student data structure, whatever we are uh, doing, uh, whatever crude operations we'll be having, will be defining in the student short path. So, um, uh, so obviously we also would have to uh, create a router of its own for this particular student short path class. To create a router of its own, uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll import the uh, API router to, uh, class from the first API. So we'll be importing header as well and API router as well. Apart from that, uh, we uh, also need the base model here. So we'll be importing the model struct uh, by here. So from API.models, I would be importing the student base model here. So after that, uh, what we'll do is we'll initialize a student uh, API router here. So 
creating the object of API router and uh, replacing our app annotation with our student annotation. So just to a quick check for that, if there's some place I've missed it. No. Uh, so this looks fine now. So we have our main.py as well. Uh -huh. uh, we'll um, uh, make a couple of modifications to main.py as well. Um, so now we have to include the route uh, that we created in students.py here. So to include the uh, route, first what we have to do is we have to uh, include the uh, students.py here. So from api.students import student. So student is uh, nothing but the uh, API router object that we initialized here. So now uh, we'll be passing that to the uh, fast API object that we created and we'll, um, like, we'll make sure that uh, that particular router is being included in the API routes to find from this main file. So app dot, uh, to do that, we'll do app dot include underscore router and we'll include the student here and here we'll do uh, we'll add one more parameter as well, which is called the prefix. So this basically helps in uh, maintaining multiple version of uh, of the same uh, route for you in your API. So say you have a v uh, version one, then uh, say uh, after a couple of months you uh, release version two, but you don't want version one to be obsolete. So you can uh, like in this uh, maintaining a prefix, uh, it allows you to uh, like uh, keep multiple version of the same routes in our API. So uh, we'll add the prefix here. So uh, for our prefix, we'll do slash API slash v1 uh, slash student for our version one. And we'll define the tags directly from here rather than defining it for individual routes. So we'll go ahead and we'll remove the tags from there. So now that we have our students.py, models.py, and main.py ready, and it all looks fine, we'll go ahead and we'll try running this. So we'll proceed into the directory for our first CD app, check the directory structure, activate the environment. We'll be using the same environment that we created, and then we'll run the Unicorn server. So now let's see if we have any error. Okay, cool. Uh, so now uh, it's running. Uh, I also was a little surprised that I didn't have any issue or error. Uh, okay, so now we can see rather than having students as the route, now we have slash API slash v1 slash students as our route. So now let's see, we'll try it out. Now we can see our response body coming correctly. Now let's go ahead and let's see our post route. So uh, we'll add some random values here. Test this route. Uh, name something to my media again. Uh, so we'll do execute. Okay, this is working fine as well. We'll do execute here. Okay, looks like a charm. Okay, so. Uh, 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 everything is working perfectly. Now we have uh, much more structured uh, structured code. We have uh, our base models and models.py and our student operation and students.py and only the main, uh, including the routing part in main.py. So now that we have a much more uh, model structure in the next video, what we'll, we'll be doing is we'll be adding uh, the uh, put uh, patch and delete uh, operation and then uh, in future videos we'll be introducing a persistent data storage uh, like Postgres uh, database uh, for example. Uh, if you like this video to like subscribe and share with your colleagues and stay tuned. Have a good day. Thanks.